लोग बन रहे थे गुड मॉर्निंग कौन और तुमको Good morning, everyone. 大家好，欢迎来到陶西川景德镇国际工作室举办的线上讲座。我是大家的主持人及翻译于静。陶西川国际教育目前上线了一系列国际大师班视频课程，还将邀请国内外艺术家定期举办艺术讲座，请大家持续关注。大家听得清我说话吗？清楚的话，请在公屏上扣一。因为线上讲座用的是跨国网络，所以可能会出现信号不稳定的情况，请大家见谅。讲座过程中如果有任何问题，也可以打在评论区里，我们的工作人员会为大家一一解答。一切正常的话，我们的讲座就正式开始了。今晚参与讲座分享的艺术家是来自美国的艺术家 Jenny Lin m c n u t t 他任职于普普瑞特艺术学院艺术与设计系，他是该系的副教授，嗯，并且嗯，他是纽约绘画与雕塑工作室学院的负责人。今晚讲座的主题是《珍妮奇妙夜》，本场讲座将以 Jenny 的作品展示为主，目的在于分享不同创作材料对其作品的。对其对其作品演变产生的影响，从2000年至2020年来2 0年间，他的作品并不局限于单一的陶瓷雕塑创作，往往与画作、多媒体表演相关联。Welcome to the online lecture held by Tao Xichuan Art Center. Today we are very honored to have invite uh Jenny Lin McNutt as our lecturer. She is a professor in Pratt Institute Art and Design Department. The title of today's lecture is "Mirror in the Animal in the Mirror in the State of Wonder." Now let's welcome Jenny Lin to have her speech. Good morning. I am so delighted to be here today, and to be counted among the many wonderful artists. That have spoken as part of this lecture series. I want to thank everybody、um, who has made this possible, and I want to thank、um, my many friends and and strangers who are friends in our community of of ceramics. 大家好，非常大家好，非常感谢大家参与今天晚上的讲座，同时也感谢在背背后默默付出，使得这场讲座。实现的工作人员们。I'm going to present today a wide variety of work: painting, multimedia performance, as well as sculpture and ceramics. 今晚的讲座中，我将展示一些我跨越不同维度、不同媒介的作品，其中包括油画、雕塑、多媒体表演。This will span、um, about twenty years, so、uh, a few choices or selections from that period, in the interest of showing what has been particularly instrumental or important in the development of my ideas. 嗯，这些作品的创作时间跨越了从两千年至二零二零年。这些年呢，我完成的作品不计其数，也使得我有机会大大的拓宽材料使用范围。Since I was a child, I have been very moved by the interconnectedness of all being. My father was a naturalist, and I spent a lot of time in the mountains, by swamps and marshes, and by the sea. And so I am very interested in the natural world. In another life, I would have been an evolutionary biologist. In my childhood, I was very interested in the natural world. In another life, I would have been an evolutionary biologist. In my childhood, I was very interested in the natural world. In another life, I would have been an evolutionary biologist. In my childhood, I was very interested in the natural world. In another life, I would have been an evolution
，事物之间的内在联系就使我大受震撼。我被他们深深吸引着。儿时的经历使我亲近大自然。也许我曾经，也许如果我有另一段生命，我可能会是一名演化生物学家。I am a twin. I have a twin brother, so part of that's perhaps my reason for feeling a deep sense of interconnectedness. 嗯，可能自从我成为双胞胎胚胎的那一刻起，嗯，我还有一个双胞胎的兄弟，我就与连结结上了结下了不解之缘。But while the wonders of nature have been a part of my interest. I've also always been interested in, expect, in expressing an interior life. 生命的多样性使我深受感动。除此之外，生命内在的圆满、生命体的反思以及大自然的奇妙，都是我试图通过作品表现的内容。I think of animals as our bridge to nature. And as animals, as our bridge to one another, that's where empathy, compassion, and imagination—the first key to empathy—begins. 嗯，因此我把动物视作为人类与自然之间联系的纽带。我们既是动物，又身为符号艺术的创作者。艺术创作的实践呢，使我联想起了自己的身体，激发了我的创作欲望。So the question of language, of visual language, comes up in communicating to others, and language is always embodied and always in flux. Or in transition. These originated from passion and thought, and naturally, sparked my interest in language itself. When we communicate with others, through the language we describe, is the connection really a connection? So, the images that I'd like to share with you today. Begin with this painting from 2010 called Erzuli. Erzuli is a Haitian deity associated with the water and with beauty. So today, um, I will show you the first painting I will show you today. 它的名称叫做埃尔祖列。埃尔祖列，它是一种嗯，从西非带到海地的当地精神实践活动的嗯一种，它是一种精神的象征。它往往与水、美，还有爱联系在一起。What you see here is an image that was inspired. By a Haitian voodoo or vodun ritual, I used to attend many of them in New York, having always been interested in cultures of the African diaspora. Um, 我在纽约曾经多次参与过海地佛都教的呃宗教仪式，他们的仪式中音乐舞蹈。与艺术的力量呈现，呈现出非同寻常的样貌，得到了淋漓尽致的体现。These rituals are extraordinary ceremonies, where music, where dance, and where the visual arts converge in giving oneself over to a larger spiritual practice. 这件作品中，嗯，它所表现的就是我从佛都教所体体会到的音乐与舞蹈的力量。
in this painting, there are two relatively concentric circles. One of the animals on the earth and then a circle above them in the skies of humans. For me, that's a kind of parallel between our fellow creatures, the animals, and ourselves. 这幅油画上面是两个互为镜像的圆，在地上，动物们绕成一个圈；天空中是人类围成一个圈。在画面上所呈现出的景象，就像是我们现实生活中的平行宇宙。It was a very low point in my life. I was absolutely depleted. And one night, I had a dream of an enormous hare or rabbit. When I awoke in the morning, I was laughing uproariously, and I had an energy that lasted about a month. An indomitable energy. 在有一段时间，我曾一度陷入低谷期，但是在那个时候，有一有一天晚上，我忽然做了一个梦，在那个梦里边，非常的不可思议，梦见了非常多的野兔。在我醒来之后，我感觉到非常愉快，感觉能量重新回到了我的身体中。So I followed this rabbit for many years in painting and in sculpture, in ceramics, in fabric sculpture. The rabbit has symbolized many things for us humans in cultures all over the world. 后来呢？这个梦启发了我大量油画、雕塑，乃至是织物的创作。实际上，野兔的形态和神话都同样令我着迷。关于兔子的神话呢，它跨越了古今以及世界各地的文化。One of the series of paintings that I began to do was the rabbit in the moon. Here you see them them playing in front of the moon, and only later did I learn about the jade rabbit and the whole、uh, mythology of the rabbit stirring the elixir of immortality in Chinese lore. 在我完成了一系列的兔子在月亮之中的油画创作之后，我才了解到中国古代有关玉兔捣药的传说。So last night, or night before last, for some of you, for the harvest moon, which I know is a, a big holiday just celebrated in China, I was out howling at the moon. And looking for that that rabbit there. 嗯，就我所知，昨天是中国的一个重要的传统节日，嗯，中秋节。昨天呢，我也在月下欣赏，嗯，去找寻月亮上的那只玉兔。As as many of you all know, the practice. Of making your work can be very solitary, and when I returned from having lived in West Africa, and since dance has always been a big part of my life, I began to work in multimedia performance. 自从我从西非生活，然后回到嗯。回到美国继续进行创作，嗯，我意识到舞蹈在我的家庭活动中占据着非常重要的地位。我也开始尝试
不同形式的创作。So these performances here are based on a kind of fairy tale story, and I'm bringing together、um, dancers.、Uh, I've made the costumes. You don't, don't see it here so much, but there are projections onto the screen, and there are musicians. 嗯，这件作品被称之为《缝纫之歌》，这是一场童话般的多媒体表演，其中包括了音乐、服饰设计、编舞，包括舞台布景。以及舞蹈表演和大幅大尺幅的投影。So in these performances, two of which you're seeing here, it's a kind of meditation on the place of the body and also of touch in our digital and scientific age. 嗯，图上呢是其中两场多媒体表演的现场记录。嗯，通过这次表演的创作呢，我也希望能够引起观众们对于当代社会、当代科技的思考。Through a, a set of of happy coincidences. I was given the key to a ceramic studio in、uh, about six years ago, and I fell in love. I had no instruction, and there was nobody around. I went to work at night in the studio, and I felt like a ten-year-old child again. 大概是在六年前，因为一个愉快的意外，我开始尝试陶瓷材料的创作。这对我来说呢，是一次非常重要的转折。我记得在那个时候，我总是晚上到工作室，就我一个人独自创作，感觉那个时候好像回到了十岁，非常快乐。So the rabbit here. Is in a supplicating or prayerful position. It's also a long cry at at what we are doing to our fellow creatures and to nature, at the destruction that we humans are wrecking on nature. 这件作品呢，同样也是以兔子为灵感。这里它是一个哀求者的姿态，看起来好像正在祈祷。又像是正在长啸，这是因为动物们，因为我们每一天破坏自然而发出无助的呼喊。这件作品呢，希望能够引起观众的共情，激发人们的想象力。I had the great honor of working at the European Ceramic Center, and there I made this. For me, large-scale work. In part, the back portion is inspired by the carapace or the shell of the tortoise. 这件作品呢，当时我有幸，嗯，受到欧洲陶艺中心的邀请，我在那儿进行创作的。嗯，这件作品的，呃，是动物形态，启发了这件作品的创作。尤其是受到龟甲图案元素的启发。And I use the very volatile、uh, crater glazes, multiple glazes, and firings on the exterior, and then in the interior here, there's a kind of belly and breast form in a high gloss glaze. I wanted to put those two together. This piece of the outside, I used a very unstable surface, then I painted the exterior with a complex outside. In the inside, I used a very bright yellow to paint the outside. 
When the work came out of the kiln, when I opened the door, I was horrified. 当时， like、made, 当时窑门被打开的那一瞬间，我真是被吓坏了，被自己所创作出的东西。But I had a realization that I wanted to put decay or death or the husk of life right next to something that represented life force. And birth and nurturing. 但是，也就是在那样一瞬间，我意识到了同一件作品中所呈现出的衰败与生机，它同时被表现出来。This sculpture、um, again is a part of a series of sculptures that I think of as bellies. I was trying to imagine what is the least that we need to see in a form to have empathy for it. 在这件作品中呢，我简化了陶瓷雕塑的形态，想要去表达原始的感觉。同时，我也在思考。怎样才能激发人类对于另一种生物的同情，让人们感受到那同样是一条生命 ？There's a great saying in West Africa: "What has a head can be tamed." 在我看来，这件雕塑是腹部系列作品的一部分。So I wanted to see how little expression, except through the limbs, would cause us to feel there is life here. The figure is on its back, and so it's in a position of enormous vulnerability. 这件作品所呈现出，嗯，他们的背部是非常脆弱的，它看起来似乎来历不明。When I first went to Jingdezhen, I carried with me a tiny little、uh, gold luster figure. It was the very first ceramic work I made. I always wanted to make it larger. I thought of it as a little, as a guardian figure. 嗯，当我第一次去中国，啊、嗯，来到景德镇的时候，我带着我制作的第一件陶瓷作品，是一个兔子的小雕塑。嗯，那时我大，我一直想要实现大型雕塑的创作。So I think of this guardian as an oracle. An oracle is one who has deep, mysterious insights and speaks words that reflect upon where a society is. 我希望我的大件雕塑呢，以守护者的形态出现。嗯，所以我把它做的很大。并且把它看作是一道神谕，嗯，把它创作成一个具有深层力量，而且有着强大洞察力的形象。And this oracle was named after one of the most famous poets of the Song Dynasty, Li Jingxiao. And I think of poets and artists and dancers. As oracles, 这件作品呢，它是以李清照的名字命名的。嗯，他是宋朝最伟大的诗人之一。嗯，以李清照命名的原因，是因为对我来说，诗人、创作者、艺术家，他们就像是神的使者
向世人传达着神谕。Before I went to to China, I had seen images, reproductions of the Zhenmu Shao or the Tomb Guardians, the Earth Spirits. From the Tang Dynasty, from animistic cultures that believed in the potency and the the life force of all being. 嗯，在我来到中国之前，嗯，我第一次看到公元六世纪到八世纪，也就是中国唐朝时期的镇墓兽。他的照片，当时我大受震撼，尤其是当我在铜川亲眼看到他们的时候，这种喜悦是溢于言表的。When I first saw the Zhen Mu Shao in person, I was blown away. I felt like I had seen an old familiar friend. Or, or demon. 在我早期的创作中，我对于嗯，我经常使用啊、呃、混合动物、不同动物的形态，把它们肢体拼接在一起的方式进行创作。Because the Zhen Mu Shao. Is comprised of many animals, so you see the ears of a boar,、um, the 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 nose or snout of of a bull, the legs and and feet of a, a lion or a large cat. The Zhen Mu Shao here, my modest contribution, is. Enraged again at what we are doing to the creatures of the earth. 你可以看到图片中真木兽的耳朵、鼻子以及它的爪、四肢，都是嗯，有着不同动物的形态特征。它是一种动物，它是多种动物特征的集合体。它看起来，嗯。被震怒的姿态，是因为我们对地球生命所做的事情感到愤怒。She has eyes in the back of her head because she is vigilant. On the face is both a tiny symbol for a tear for the creatures that have been lost, and a tiny symbol. Chinese symbol from antiquity of a ghost, the tear and the ghost, the same, just upside down and right side up. His right eye also has eyes because he is very vigilant and fierce. And the palette, the glazes, or the colors of the glazes. I wanted to be otherworldly. So, while this creature is ferocious and angry, she can also feed sixteen. There is a nurturing side to her. She can also feed sixteen little beings. In addition, this glazed appearance and character are also showing the. 他的不凡气势，这些美丽并且不稳定的还原，又增强了他这种情绪的特征。This Jin Mu Shao, you see, without the horns or the flames, and with a an ox blood or a lan yao glaze. One of the most celebrated glazes of Jin Dijian. 
这件作品同样是镇木寿系列的一件，嗯，它是以景德镇非常出名的狼窑红釉进行烧制。The glaze is very volatile. It's a, a reduction glaze. It is quite difficult to achieve this copper-based glaze, and it's very much a collaboration, really made possible by the extraordinary chemist who mixed the glazes, and then by the extraordinary Shifu, the fire master. Who I think of as a wizard, really, who in the reduction firing dances with the oxygen in the kiln, in the fire. Lang Hong Yu, 也称作啊牛血红釉，这种釉料呢是以铜为发色剂的一种还原釉，它非常的不稳定，所以。比较难烧制出效果。这一次可以算作是我与釉料调配者以及窑匠之间的密切合作。他们知道如何与火共舞，去获取这些璀璨的色彩。In my my work, I really back to the title of my presentation. I really want to try to get to a place of wonder, of surprise, of feeling myself very small in the face of forces, of forms that represent something much bigger than me. 最后呢，我想回到嗯这次讲座的标题中来。在艺术创作中，我总是带着探险的精神，想要创作出一个奇妙的、令人感觉到惊讶的、与众不同的世界。So I try to follow that sense of wonder with both curiosity and compassion. 嗯，我致力于通过我的作品呈现出一个更大、更奇妙的世界。实际上，嗯，我想要表现出，嗯，我实际上是非常渺小的。I just want to leave you with one more thought. When I was in college, I studied the work of Rene Descartes. Who was the inventor of analytic geometry? A very intellectual person, and and please go. Oh, okay.、Um, and. To much, much to my surprise, this very analytical mind said, "The most desired state to be in is a state of wonder." 嗯，虽然大多数情况下，嗯，我想要达到的一个奇妙的世界，并不容易做到，所做出的东西总是。啊，让我感觉到熟悉的，或者说是优雅，或者是美丽的。但是我知道这个过程是必不可少的。嗯，让我有机会瞥见比自己大得多的，也许是让人感到恐惧的事物。即使是这样，但是我也正在通往奇妙国度的旅程上。我希望能够引领你进入一场奇妙的探险，并且引发你的好奇心。激发你的同情。The second voice is Albert Einstein, the great scientist who brought us the theory of relativity and so much else. A great scientific mind. 
said, I always want to pursue, pursue to follow the, the most desired state, which is a state of wonder. Albert Einstein. 嗯，对我产生巨大影响的，嗯，除了是大学时期，嗯，我曾我曾遇过的，嗯，一个非常智慧的教授，嗯，其次对我影响极大的是爱因斯坦，他说，嗯，我最想要追逐的境界就是一个奇妙的。一片奇妙的热土。The third voice is a scholar that I met in West Africa, who was a student of and and a scholar of animism among world religions. And I said, "In animism, do you seek to be?"、Um, Transcendent, and he said, "No. I seek. We seek to always cultivate a state of wonder about our Earth." 嗯，第三个，嗯，对我产生非常大影响的。是我曾在西非遇到的一位学者，嗯，那时他还是一名学生，嗯，学学习动物学，在与他的交谈过程中，他对我说：“我们始终在追求的是一片神奇的土地。” So, to all my friends out there, following. Your dreams, your passions, your ideas, in a state of health and wonder. Thank you. 想要感谢那些曾经带给我影响的朋友们，嗯，也感谢你对你对我产生的，嗯，对我产生的影响，以及对我创作所带来的灵感。希望你们一切都好。好的，现在进入观众提问环节。如果大家有问题想和艺术家交流的话，请将问题打在公屏上，我们将随机选取四到五个问题，请艺术家解答。好的，现在请大家开始进入问题。Does anyone have any questions? Yes. Um. Now I'm talking to audience to、um, ask for the question. Oh, thank you, Jing. Thank you, Professor. So thank you, uh, so much for this wonderful speech, Professor. Now it's time for our audience to ask you some questions. We are、uh, going to select four or five of them. For you to answer, is that, is that okay? Great, perfect. Okay, and the first question is from、uh, Ming, and he said,、um, "In your works, have lots of、uh, rabbits or say、um, hair.、Um, it's very impressive." But、um, he wants to ask why in different cultures and、uh, there、um, in different.、Um, Um, in different place,、uh, why they are have、um, rabbit in their culture or in their、um, 
Yeah, yeah, good, good question. And, and of course, in, in all humility, I'll say, I don't know for sure, but speculating, I think that the rabbit, for instance, in Egyptian culture, um, the glyph or the symbol, the hieroglyph for life force or the will to be is the same as the glyph for the rabbit. And I think part of it is that the rabbit is the prey to so many easy eating for so many animals. And so it has evolved as a very uh, wily and intelligent creature that can burrow in the earth and that can, can run quickly. Um, but in, in many cultures, in, in West Africa, there are stories of Br'er Rabbit, um, who is, is, is a very wily character, very, very intelligent and smart in Native American cultures and certainly in, in Chinese cultures. Chesh,嗯,这个问题非常,嗯,问的非常好,嗯,也许,嗯,嗯,经过我的研究以及,嗯,多年,嗯,对于兔子形态的创作中,嗯,我发现在埃及,嗯,他们对于高级的生命形式
in May. And it is the time of in, in the Christian stories of rebirth, of Easter, of resurrection after winter, which goes way back pre-Christian. And I think that it's when, when certainly when the animals, certainly the, the rabbit, begins to really procreate and, and make a big family coming out of a hibernation. So I was in a very depleted place for many reasons. I was working on a couple of big projects and I thought, I'm just going to collapse. I was so exhausted. So I think this rabbit came to me, this enormous rabbit, in a green field, and we were took my hand and we were dancing, whirling around and around and around. It was a little scary. And it was very exhilarating. Okay, thank you, Professor. Um, 关于嗯，有关兔子的梦是不是跟潜意识有关 ？Jenny 给出的回答是，当然是的。嗯，只不过是我是后来才意识到这一点。嗯，那个时候我做这个梦，那时候是在五月。在基督故事中，嗯，五月代表着象征着重生，代表着一切重新开始。同时呢，自然界的五月中也是兔子开始繁殖交配，他们嗯繁衍出巨大的家族成啊、嗯、巨数量众多的家族成员。嗯，那个时候我自己的状态是，呃，有几个大的项目嗯正在进行，嗯，我整个人的状态是有些疲惫的。嗯，但是在那个梦中呢，我梦到在一片大大草地上，然后与兔子共舞。嗯，我知道，嗯，而且是不停歇的一圈又一圈。我知道这个梦可能说出来有一些诡异，但是那个时候对我来说是非常，嗯，感到是感到非常精力充沛，并且对我来说是一种治愈的。Just, just one last comment, Xin Yang. It's, a, it's a great observation, and it's reminding me that I've had dreams of animals ever since I was a child. Often, sometimes they were nightmares,、um, animals trying to get a, away from a flood. But、um, animals are a recurring dream for me. <laughs> um, 同样呃。Uh... 嗯，何山颖女士，嗯，还有一点我想要分享的是，在我小的时候也经常梦到，呃，经常做有关动物的梦，呃，有可能，嗯、呃，那时候我在逃离大洪水，当然有时候是噩梦，有的时候，嗯、呃，是开心的梦。对于我来说，嗯，是属于童年的记忆。好的，第三个问题同样来自多拉燕明。请问中国的镇墓兽形象是否在其他文化中也出现过呢？嗯 ，So the third question from, uh, also from Ming, and he asked, uh, if the 镇墓兽 also, um, also comes in, also shows up in other country, other uh culture, except uh China, in Chinese culture. Wow, what a great question! What a great question. You know, I'm I'm scanning,、um, thinking of of African sculpture and、uh, of West Africa in particular, because of course Africa is immense. But there are a number of of mask and of. Uh, wooden wooden mask and wooden sculptures、um, that are hybrids of multiple animals, and、um, I think probably if, if we go back a little ways,
Um, and actually in, in, what am I saying? Central and South America as well. Uh, you know, the panther, the serpent, uh, the raven in, in uh, Native American cultures, uh, the panther again in African cultures, West African, the crocodile and combinations because since the beginning of, of time, we as a species have looked to animals for lessons, lessons on how to be courageous, right? Lessons on how to uh, be, be bold, lessons on how to conserve or be quiet when we need to be. I think we're still looking to the animals for lessons.嗯，我认为这个问题是非常棒的。嗯，嗯，这让我联想起在非洲，嗯，在西非时候看到的一些木雕，以及面具的作品，它们也是以一种嗯混合形态和吻合的动物形态，嗯，出现的。嗯，同
and I have intentions for those sculptures, what they will look like, what they will be. And I'll work on a series, many iterations. I don't know fully what I'm doing. And by the time I make a form, a sculpture, that I fully know what it's about, I'm ready to move on. I'm done with it. In other words, I think it is, everybody interprets it in a different way, but I think part of what keeps us coming back to making is what we don't know are the mysteries that remain. People call it problem solving, but it's much bigger than that. That's a part of it. And I love problem solving, but I think it's, it's, it's much more comprehensive and complex. Thank you. Um, Jenny 对此给出的回答是，嗯，嗯，虽然，嗯，我做青蛙的迭代作品更多，嗯，但是我认为，无论是兔子还是青蛙，或者说你只是去重复的去创作一把壶，嗯，最重要的一点是你在制作的过程中，首先会抓住它的形态特征。然后，其次呢，在不断的重复当中，在创作过程中，你与这个意象产生情感的联系。然后，在这个过程中呢，你的技法或者说你对这个东西的认知，实际上是不断的更新的。然后，这也是一个不断学习的过程。嗯，在我的呃工作室的经历来看呢，我是在创作过程中不断的学习，不断的进步。嗯，在最开始的时候，嗯。我可能知道，哎，我想要这个雕塑看起来是什么样的，但是我并不是非常确定它最终的效果是如何。那么在，在嗯不断的创作过程中，这个雕塑的形态变得逐渐明晰起来。然后我也我也从不太明白这个作品的呈现，到我逐渐哎我能够掌控这件作品，那么这就是一个进步。那么，在这个过程中，未知实际上就是我们创作的动力。人们常常把这种未知称作为“呃，问题解决”，去解决这个问题。但是，嗯，以我的角度来看，这不仅仅是解决创作中的问题，它实际上是一个更加复杂而且更广博的议题。我们可以从中不断的去学习，从未知当中学习。嗯 ，Thank you, Professor. And 由于时间关系，今晚的问答环节到此结束。也感谢大家今参与今晚的线上讲座。非常感谢 Jenny 啊、uh, ，Jenny Lin m i k n u t 为我们带来的精彩内容。10月13日晚8点，我们还将邀请中国艺术家吴浩老师分享他的创作经历。请大家持续关注桃溪川国际教育平台，我们还将推出更多的线上课程与活动。Thank you, Jenny, for your wonderful speech and your wonderful works and stories with us. And we are really impressed.、Uh, thanks everybody for your attention.、Uh, thank you for coming, and I hope you all enjoy our lecture today on、um, on October thirteenth. We will have another online lecture.、Uh, hope to see you there. So thank you so much. Jing and Ming and Ella and Haoran and all of you who came today, old and new friends. I've so enjoyed this opportunity of being together. Very special. Thank you, Professor. See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>